Hi, I'm back with another YouTube video and I want to explain something to you. This is cement battery, almost like uh, lid motors. But there's a few different things here. Uh, first of all, I used Portland cement at about 85%. And then I added some tin oxide to that at about 2%. And carborundum, which is a rock grinding compound, at about 10%. And then some zinc sulfite at 2%. I don't have much of that so left, so I am sort of spare on that. But I, mean, I want you to get a good look at it. And the important things about this is this surface area in the cement battery. So we took this, Chuck and I took this quarter inch copper tubing and we coiled it like this inside the battery so we could get a lot of copper inside here now that seemed to make a difference because we made another one with a, a zinc electrode here and a copper electrode here and it didn't work as well as this one but I'm going to show you the battery and I kept this in an oven all night long in a magnetic flux oven that I have at work for cultures and I kept it at about 105 degrees in this uh, beer can. Of course the beer made the difference in this but I'm going to show you something about it. It, uh, it runs my oscillators just fine dry And uh, I'll show you the oscillator, and then get a get a connection on it. You can see that it's pretty bright. It runs it just fine, and it's over 200 milliamps on the meter, and it stays like that. And when it runs out, what's funny about this is I short it out and it comes right back so Chuck and I are gonna show you a much better one that we're gonna do and this time what we're gonna do is this this aluminum is much thicker uh, it's about a quarter inch thick and it's a it's, it's actually an aluminum pipe and what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it down and uh, we're going to make this, we're actually waiting for our chemicals because we want to use the barium, tit the titanium, barium titanium in it. And uh, we want to try that and uh, with a sodium silicate and some copper sulfate or copper, we're going to put, you know, copper oxide actually, we're going to mix with it. And so we're going to make a real good one, and we're going to get this thing to work so that it sustains current for long, long periods of time. And we're going to dry it in the oven. We're going to we're going to use a magnetic field when we're drying it this time. We're going to polarize this thing. We're going to use a magnetic field to polarize it because I think that has something to do with it because it was in this flux oven all night long uh, that we used. I used with Dr. Strecker for uh, determining what happens to cultures in magnetic fields when I worked with him. But so I just want to share all this information and make sure that you know exactly what I know. Now, what I'm also going to say is that this is small stuff at first, everybody, but as soon as the right mixture is found then you're going to have the same thing that John Hutchinson had and Marcus Reed had and probably a little bit better than that because you're going to have all the information we're not going to keep this information from anybody because if you do these right I would think that you could generate a lot of power with them small levels first but bigger levels later so, why don't you look at that again?
and you can see that it's it's got a pretty good crystal formation being in that magnetic flux of them for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to try. I'm not going to at all use any high voltage on this because it would be wet when you were doing it and I, I don't want to do that. I want it to work on its own. I want to polarize it if anything. And then I have some other things that I may play with here that actually could help direct some of the flow. Because I, I have a feeling that the reason this one works well is because there's a lot of surface area copper in here in this mixture and crystals can form around that but there's some things that that we're gonna show you I'm gonna try to take still pictures and add it to the YouTube video next time so you can see how I made it because that's what this is all about so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoy all this